guys and welcome to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith and today we're doing a really exciting video because a lot of my customers have asked for some kind of anime fabric um, that I absolutely had no clue what they were talking about. <laughs> um, Google has had to be my friend quite a few times and it's been really hard to find any kind of anime anything. Um, so I've always told my customers it's really hard. KMA has got you set on this next round. Believe you me, make sure that you go to their uh, website when the round opens because they have got you set. <laughs> there is so much anime and I again still had no clue what it was. So what are we doing today? There is a little girl in a bag, in a box that gets carried around. I'm still unsure about all of this but I believe it's called Demon Slayer and today we are going to make her little box that she kind of hangs out in and I will show you in just a second. Today's video we are doing two options. I don't want all of the bags to just be book bags. I wanted you guys to have another option so that if you didn't want a book bag but you kind of wanted that kind of style, we've got a sling. So today I am going to be showing you how to do both a book bag and a sling. On the front you will find our little zippers and they go really, really well with this round. Um, I was looking at some of the fabrics so I'm like, that would be great together. It's going to be so good. And then, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Dun, da, da. We have our clear little front with our little girl in there doing her little thing. Don't ask me to give a breakdown about her because I just don't know. Um, <laughs> so it's clear on the inside so that when you put your stuff inside you can still kind of, I mean the artwork's kind of in the way, but you can still kind of see what you've got on the inside of your bag. Then, it's about, that zipper is just basically for funsies. Um, it's not like functional, but you have your functional zipper on this side. And so when you put your hand in there, you can see all the stuff and things. But um, we didn't put any zipper pockets or anything like that. There is binding in this. Uh, we kept it pretty simple because when you look through the front, we didn't want you to like see a bunch of pockets and stuff in the back. And you can kind of see my hand right there. Anyway, this was a really fun one to come up with. And <laughs> I had no clue what Kim and Alex were talking about. I'm like, just tell me what to do. <laughs> so... <laughs> So it came up with this and I hope you guys like it. So let's get started. All right, so when you get your panel, it is going to be uh, rolled up nice and tight like this. I just wanted to show you guys how you were gonna get it in the mail. When you open up your panel, this is what you're going to have. This is your entire outer panel. And with this one, we wanted to go ahead and give you guys some options. So we have a sling option and we have a book bag option which I am going to show you both options in this video. Hopefully you can see all the pieces. Alright, then you get the lining fabric. This is going to be everything you need plus your little demon girl. I don't know. <laughs> She's going to be on the inside front for you guys. So you're going to have everything that you need for your outer and your lining fabric. That's it. What you're going to have to buy is your hardware, zipper tape, webbing, all of that is going to be sold separately. Kids. <laughs> okay. All right. All of K&A's webbing is going to be one inch. So all of the hardware that we're going to need for this is going to be one inch. So I have got two D-rings. Regardless if you do the sling or the book bag, you're going to need two of those. And then if you do the book bag, you're going to need two one inch strap adjusters. Um, if you're going to do the sling, you just need one. And then you're going to need some webbing. And I wanted you guys to see this because it's really, really cool. On one side, you got this pink, really cool, like, stars. And then on the other side, you've got the, like, little checker thing. And as much as Alex has told me, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm guessing there's, like, a checker theme. I don't, I have no idea. But either way, it's really, really cool webbing. So I'm excited to work with this. I have also been looking for just, like, black-on-black -black zipper tape. 
everywhere and I cannot find it. It's always got like gunmetal down the center or something. So I'm super excited that K&A is finally carrying this and I will be buying a ton of this because I'm always wishing that I had it. Um, that is number five zipper tape. So you're also going to need some number five zippers. I thought these were really cool. They've got the little protective film over top of them. Um, but they go really well with everything that I've looked at so far. Alright, the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut out your outer panel. Just cut where the black line meets the white line and just cut out all of your pieces. Um, I'm going to go ahead and iron my lining because my lining is not going to be flat. You really want your lining to be flat before you cut it out so that it actually is the size that it's supposed to be. Because, uh, you know, sometimes if it's crinkly or folded up, it just ends up wonky. I'm going to go ahead and iron this. My outside is going to be a pebble vinyl. My inside is going to be a waterproof canvas that k and carries. Um, and it's actually really, really nice. It's a lighter weight waterproof canvas. So if you're working with a domestic, this is really nice waterproof canvas for you to use. You still get the waterproof of it all, but you don't get the thickness of all of the other waterproof canvases. So, I'm going to take this to the ironing board and straighten it out, but I want to just point out one more thing. When you're cutting out your lining, you want to use your main panel as your template for cutting out your lining. Sometimes our lining has been like either like an eighth of an inch too big. Um, I've tried to make sure that they're all too big rather than too small. Um, just be aware of that and use these pieces to cut out your lining pieces. So let me go iron this and then we'll cut everything out all together. Alright, so I went ahead and I interfaced all of my pieces, all of my outer pieces with Decoville Light. It is all a quarter of an inch shorter on all of the edges just so that they're out of the seams. Uh, your waterproof canvas, you won't have to do any kind of interfacing for that. Alright, we're going to do something super easy first before we get to the other zipper. So I have got my two zipper gusset pieces. This is how you're going to get into the main part of your bag. So we're going to get our zipper tape and whatever the measurement of the zipper gusset is the measurement that you're going to use for your zipper. And because it is nylon, I'm going to go ahead and burn the ends. And I'm going to put the zipper gusset together without the zipper. We're going to wait on the zipper until we get ready to put everything together. So the first thing that we're going to do, I want to make sure that these are lining up right. Yeah, because I had that upside down. All right, make sure that these are lining up. Then you want to take your zipper gusset and put it right side to the right side of your zipper gusset. And we're just going to clip that in place. Then you're going to take your lining and put it right side to the wrong side of your zipper and add that to your zipper gusset. Then we're going to sew down our zipper a quarter of an inch all the way down to make sure that we have this into one piece. So let's go do that. Alright, so I have got a size 12 needle in. My stitch length is at a three where it's supposed to be 
and we're just going to sew a quarter of an inch down the zipper. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is take your main panel, your outer panel, and your lining panel and pull them away from the zipper so that they're together and then I'm going to base stitch all the way down but I think I'm going to go ahead and change my bobbin thread uh, because I don't think I don't think it would look very good since you're going to actually be able to see through the bag so I'm going to put in a different bobbin real quick all right I chose pink I have got my stitch length to a four And I'm just base stitching the edges together so that they'll be one piece and easier to work with later. And you come back over to where your zipper is. And an eighth of an inch away from the zipper, we're just going to sew uh, top stitch. All right, while we're here and everything's done, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other panel, making sure that they're facing the right way. You can also really try hard to pattern match these so that your black is going all the way across these little bars um, while you're clipping them together. But I cut them out right so they should, fingers crossed, <laughs> match up. And I'm gonna check them before I sew it. I'm just gonna kinda open it up and see how it looks but you're gonna go ahead and clip just like we did last time with just the outer panel and your zipper and then you're gonna add your lining to your zipper sandwich this is a small opening but it was needed and it's gonna look really cool all right then you can just kind of open it like that and see if everything is kind of matching up. If it's a little askew, you might need to like move things around, but you, it's definitely going to show up. So just make sure you take your time. I'm going to put my stitch length back to a three, and then I'm just going to stitch a quarter of an inch from the edge. And then we're going to take the top and the lining away from the zipper and I'm going to change my stitch length to a four and I'm going to base stitch the sides and top stitch down the zipper. All right, so you got your zipper gusset all done. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our zipper, we're going to spread those apart. It doesn't matter which end you start at. We're going to put the left side in first and then the right side in and you're going to make sure that when you push your zipper down that your teeth are nice and even. We've got our zipper on. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down one end. It does not matter which end. We're going to put right side of our zipper to the right side of our bottom gusset or our all around gusset I should say. I'm going to clip those together and then I'm going to grab my lining gusset. I'm going to put my lining gusset right side to the right side of my lining gusset. So you're going to have one big gusset sandwich and then you're going to sew a quarter of an inch across there. Then you're going to pull your lining and your outer fabrics back. And you're going to top stitch across here like that. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab the right side to the right side of your gusset. We're going to do just like we did on the other end. You're going to have to do one side of your gusset at a time because the zipper gusset is so small. Then the right side to right side of your zipper gusset. 
and you're going to sew that a quarter of an inch across, turn it inside out, and top stitch it just like that. So it should look like that right now. <laughs> All right, so ignore all of this for just a minute. Let's focus on our back, our very back panel. First thing that we're gonna do is we're going to put wrong side to wrong side so that this panel becomes one piece. So you're just gonna take it to your sewing machine and baste stitch all the way around. Once you've baste stitched all the way around and it's become one piece, I'm going to grab my front panel so that you guys will know which direction everything is supposed to be going. So, this is the inside, this is the back. Your front panel is going to face this way so that this is the top of the back of your bag. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab I am going to grab a clip and remind myself that is the top of the bag. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my D-ring connectors and I added a three quarters by the length of my, I think it's like three inches of my pieces. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to make a mark in the center. Then. I'm going to grab some double sided tape and I'm going to put it right down the center. Just like that. I'm going to take that paper off and then I'm going to make one side meet up with the center and then I'm going to make the other side meet up with the center. You need to go to the sewing machine and go ahead and sew down, over, and back up. All right, now that we have got our D-ring connectors all sewn down so that those flaps will stay down, we're gonna grab our one inch D-rings. We're gonna put them on like so, fold them over. From one inch in, we're gonna put the end of our D-ring and it's gonna be kind of sideways. We're gonna top stitch across there and then trim off the excess. Um, you can also put it at the bottom. I just wanted there to be, it's a small bag and I wanted you to be able to have a little extra room to work, work with, especially around these corners and everything. So I'm gonna put it right there. And then on the other side, I'm gonna take my D-ring and place it on there like so. And then lining it up on my board, one inch from my bottom, I'm going to put that D-ring right like that. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to base stitch those in place. All right, so I have got these all base stitched in place. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clip off now that I know which end is up and I am going to find the center real quick. So just line up the sides and then find the center, we're gonna make a clip. I can find my scissors. Okay, and then the very bottom, we're gonna do the same thing. I know that there's that dip on the side, but go ahead and let's just do that and get it over with before I forget to do it later on. All right, now we're gonna grab our webbing. I made two straps that were 45 inches roughly. Um, you can make them bigger. It just depends on what size you want to make them. I think the biggest I think I've ever made was 55 inches. Um, it's just up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our webbing straps and you're going to make sure that you burn the ends. And by the way, if you've not got K&A's webbing, let me show you something. 
you know how sometimes you burn the ends of your webbing and especially if it's like a light rainbow or whatever it you can kind of get some of that residual um, soot or whatever from your lighter on your uh, webbing this doesn't leave any of that it just melts it doesn't turn black or anything like that it just melts so I'm super impressed with that because I've used some rainbow from other people recently and I had like a bunch of black around the edges because I guess I burn it too much I have no idea but it doesn't do that on this webbing so I really like that all right next thing you need to do is you need to pick up which side is going to be your up and down <laughs> which side of the webbing do you want to see on the like outside of your webbing so for one I think I'm going to do the black and the green so I've got my strap adjuster I'm going to put it on my strap adjuster and then back down I am going to leave myself about an inch and a half ish on the tail and I'm going to clip that in place and then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm just going to do a little square around here one inch webbing that's all you really need if this was like one and a half inch webbing then I would do the little X through it but it's just one inch so I'm just going to do a square so let me grab my other one same thing putting it through and then back down leaving myself about an inch and a half let's go to the sewing machine and I'll show you how to do that all right so I have got both of my threads back down to both black I've got my stitch length at a three I still have my 12 needle in and then we're just going to do our little square All right, now that we've got our straps all connected, the next thing that we're gonna do is with the strap folded over part, we're gonna go all the way down to the end, keeping everything nice and straight. We're gonna come down here to the D-ring and put our strap through. Then, keeping everything straight, I'm gonna take this end put it through this side of your strap adjuster and then back down again it should look like that and then we're going to line up our panel where our center mark is we're going to go one inch over and I am going to kind of turn it at an angle because again this book bag is so small I want you to be able to have room for your arms and everything for it all right now we're going to do that again <clears throat> with the flat side facing you and go all the way down through the d-ring then up through the strap adjuster back down the strap adjuster and then one inch on the side of that clip I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I am just going to base stitch this in place try and get your angles the way that your straps are turning to kind of be about the same so that they don't look weird <laughs> I probably will adjust it when I get back to the sewing machine but just go ahead and base stitch those in place I forgot we were going to do one more thing so I have a seven inch piece of webbing and what I want to do is I want to create a handle so that when I'm hanging it up at the store or somebody's you know taking it somewhere and they just want to hold it by a handle they'll have one so I've got seven inches and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right on top of the ones that we just sewed just like that and then I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to base these on just like that all right now we're moving on to the sling so what you're going to need is you're going to need a four inch piece of webbing that is going to wrap around our d-ring on our bottom one then you're going to need about a 55 60 inch piece of webbing for your actual like your body strap 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and put another piece of webbing, another 7 inch piece of webbing for a handle on the back just because I always do. Um, then you're also going to need your strap adjuster for your strap and then your four pieces of your little triangle pieces. Alright, so we're going to do several steps all at one time so I can just go to the sewing machine and get it all done. So I've got my four inch strap around my D-ring. I'm going to grab one of my triangle panels and I am going to base stitch this to that panel and just make it easier when I go to sew the other panel on the other side. So I'm going to base stitch this and I'm also going to take my webbing and go ahead and sew it to my strap adjuster. So are we doing, okay we're doing black and the green on the outside again. So I'm going to take these two things to the sewing machine and we're going to go ahead and base this one and then sew a square around this one. Now that we've got this base stitched on, while I'm at the table, let's go ahead and put our other triangle piece right side to right side, just like that. And then we're going to stitch around these three sides, leaving this open. Alright, so I am all sewn up. I am going to cut these corners off so it will be a little bit easier to turn. Alright, you can top stitch that if you would like. It's up to you. You can leave it just like it is. I think I'm going to leave it just like it is. Next thing that I'm going to do is you can do several things. You can put it dead in the center of the bottom. You can put it over here on the corner and then trim it out. Um, you can put it on this side. It's up to you. It's a sling, so it really needs to be either like here so that you can kind of go across your body or here so that you can kind of, again, have it going across your body when you go in to put your strap on. So I think I'm just going to put it dead center here. I am going to go to the sewing machine and I am going to base stitch this in place. and then we'll start adding our strap. All right, so we got that all base stitched in place. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our webbing with the folded over side. We're gonna come all the way down to the end, go through our D-ring, then take our end, go back through our strap adjuster, just like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our other pieces. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take this to the sewing machine and baste stitch this across. And then do just like you did with this one after you baste stitch it. Place this on top and then sew around, turn it inside out. And then we're going to put it towards the top of our bag. Alright, so I went ahead and I put some center marks at the top and at the bottom because we're going to need those later on anyway. I went ahead and turned this inside out and then I'm going to square it up right to the center of my panel. And I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to base stitch this in place. Okay, so this part you guys can definitely omit because it's so thick. But what I like to do is I like to take my straps that I'm going to be using for like displaying and hanging up and normally what I like to do is find my center mark and then one inch over start putting my strap. So there's my center, one inch over I put my strap. It's a little thick because this is right here. It's up to you um, if you want to just not put that on there. I just like to have that as an option again if you're displaying them at a Comic Con or something and you want some way to kind of hang them up, it's just a nice option to have. Alright, now I'm going to go grab all the stuff that we need for the very front of our bag. Alright, so now we are on our front door and we know that doors open from left to right. Um, so what I did, this side 
is going to be where our zipper goes. Let me show you. So we're going to start over here and then all the way down with our zipper. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the center of this side and the center of this side. That'll help us when we go to put our lining on. So I just folded it in half and then made a little clip. And so I've got two clips in both sides. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your 20, what did I say, 25 inch zipper. What have I got here? I have a 27 and a half inch zipper, but I think it's only like 25 inches. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn the ends because that's what you've got to do. Now I am going to start on our bottom of our door and I'm going to take the zipper tape right side to right side and I'm actually going to take this to the sewing machine and I am going to baste this in place because it will make it a lot easier we got to put our lining on. So when you get to this rounded corner right here you're just going to make a few little snips so that your zipper tape will go around that curve and just do the best that you can. It's a small curve um, to be able to work with and I'm going to have to fuss with this a little bit more before I go sew it. Just go ahead and clip all the way around. After you clip it all the way around, you're going to go ahead and base stitch your zipper in place. Just do it the best that you can. Um, I know it's it, those, those corners, man. Hey guys, Future Faith here. Okay, so there's one piece that we are missing in the final um, video, so I want to show you real quick. In your panels, you are going to get two of these. One of them is going to be the front door and one of them is going to go on the back of your door for like your lining. So you're going to have your front door, another vinyl piece, and then a lining and waterproof canvas. What you're going to need to do is the two vinyl pieces are going to be the front and it's going to be the inside piece. The waterproof canvas piece you're going to need to take and fold it in half so that the bottoms meet. You're going to top stitch across that and then you're going to base stitch your lining piece and this piece together so that you will end up with a pocket right like that. I completely forgot this piece. You don't have to do it. Um, Kim and Alex just wanted to have an extra little pocket in the front just so that there's a reason for the flap. Um, uh, well, one more reason for the flap other than to hide her. So, if you wanted to add the flap, that's all you have to do. And I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I will try and take pictures and redo it again. <laughs> Back to construction. And then you're going to take your lining piece. And we're going to do the same thing that we did to our front panel. We're going to put some clips in the, on the long sides so that we can match all of this up. So we're going to make sure that our rounded edges are facing our rounded edges. And I'm just going to start at that center notch on the rounded side. And you're just going to have to kind of move that zipper out of the way. I would clip a lot here just so that you don't lose anything. Um, when you're trying to do this, things aren't moving all around. Now, we are going to leave this side open. The side that doesn't have the zipper is going to be left open. We're going to take this to the sewing machine and then I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around. Again, you're going to have to move this zipper out of the way. Um, you may have to stick your hand up in there and kind of shift things around. Make sure that you don't accidentally like get your zipper in a wrong spot. But let's go ahead. I'm going to finish clipping this together and then I'm going to take you to the sewing machine and so show you how I sew those together. All right, so we have got the lining attached to our front panel, right side to right side. Do take your time when you're going around these corners. I know, it's a tight corner. Um, so just kind of like push that zipper out of your way. Put your needle down, 
push the zipper out of the way and then keep sewing. Um, after you get that done, make sure that you back stitch where you start and where you stop and then open this up. So the very first thing that I did after I turned mine inside out um, was make sure that you've got your corners as out as you can get them. Then we're going to match up our lining and our outer panel where we made that center mark in both of them. And then you're just going to kind of clip all the way across. And then we're going to base stitch this side closed. And then we're going to top stitch all the way around. I'm going to take you to the sewing machine and show you how I do it. That way you can know. But this is what it looks like when you're finished. Um, it should be nice top stitching all the way around um, and then base stitching this edge closed. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. I turned the AC off so there wouldn't be a bunch of noise in the background and now somebody's cutting grass. So, oh well. All right. Zipper is all top stitch, looks great. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our little girl. And the first thing that I'm going to do is when you get your panel, there's going to be a gray line going all the way around. I am going to cut mine right where, and I'll show you in just a second, the clear and the gray line meet. That gray edge is going to be the edge of the panel that I'm working with. So I just kind of cut away the clear that was on this side of that gray line. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the two gray lines and I am going to put them together till I can find the center. I'm going to make a teeny tiny little notch in that gray line so I can find the center. So I put, you see where this corner comes together and then this corner comes together. I just put them together and made my center mark. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to match up those two marks for the clear girl and for that. And then I'm going to clip all the way down, even on my zipper. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to match up the gray with my black. So the gray is going to be, the gray is going to be my guideline for my outside of my bag. And then we're going to cut this down in just a minute. So I'm just going to, you can go ahead and do a center notch if you want. That way you know that it's centered. Um, you can go ahead and just start clipping and see where it lands. Like I'm going to do real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my black line. It should, keyword there, should follow up. But you just need to be able to have the gray line for the outside of your panel and the black line for this curve right here. I'm just cutting that gray away and then I'm going to continue to clip all the way around. You may need to make a few little notches here in your zipper because again that's another round place and I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to base stitch this in place before I try to do anything else to it um, just so that it stays where it's supposed to be. I'm going to go on this side and do the same thing. Come around here to the black I didn't cut the gray line to begin with because I just wanted to make sure everything was matching up where it was supposed to. I didn't want you to cut any extra and then be shorted. So the end of your zipper needs to meet with the end of that black line. 
right there. All right, now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and I am going to baste stitch this all the way around, um, even across here. So let's go do that. I was just baste stitching away <laughs> and I forgot to put my zipper on. So before you go baste stitching all the way around, put your zipper on. <laughs> I just caught it in enough time to be able to put my zipper on, but I just wanted to mention it now. Now go and baste stitch all of that together. Now that we have everything baste stitched and um, our zipper on, <laughs> you want to make sure that you've got this notch right here. And then I went ahead and I folded this together and went ahead and made a center mark on this side because we need to be able to meet up our zipper. So just where our zipper part of our gusset is, you're going to want to put the ends together and we're going to make a little notch on each side so that our zipper is in the center of our door because that's right where we want it. And go ahead and do a snip for the other side because that is going to meet up on the other side where your other snip is. Okay, now this is going to be kind of important. You want to make sure that your zipper is zipping open down. So you're going to want to have, take your front panel and meet it up with that notch right there. And that way, when you clip it, you can see that your, your zipper is zipping down and it's on the left hand side of the door right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just clip that center notch real quick so that I make sure that it's not going anywhere. And then I'll turn it um, lining out. And then you can meet up the other notch. So go ahead and turn that lining out. And go to this other side and meet up those center notches right there. Where are all of my clips? And you're gonna, you're probably gonna have to make some notches or some clips in the middle of your gusset, like around the corners, especially around this corner right here because we've had to do that all along. Grab some more clips. And then once you have this clipped all the way around, take it to the sewing machine and baste stitch this in place. Uh, you're going to do that an eighth of an inch away from the edge and baste stitch it. And then we'll take some binding and bind it all together. All right, so we're baste stitching. So I'm just doing an eighth of an inch away from the edge with a four stitch length. And I am going to round out this corner just a little bit. All right, so the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grab some binding. I have some one inch binding by the length of my waterproof canvas. Um, and I just went all the way around and clipped. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to sew it just like this with the sides facing up. I still have a four stitch length. All right, so we got our binding on this side. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm doing the book bag style. You can do this same thing with the sling. Um, what I'm gonna do is I put marks notches on this side and a notch on that side just by folding it in half and then making a notch next thing we're going to do is this is the top where i've got my zipper uh, the zipper is going to be unzipping to the bottom zipping up to the top so i know that that's my top so i need to put this part this way and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to match up these notches. And then match them up all the way around. I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to do just like I did with the other side. 
I'm going to sew an eighth of an inch all the way around and base stitch these layers together. I was not about to let you guys watch me struggle to turn this inside out. So <laughs> I had already done the one for the written instructions. And when I turn it inside out, I'm like, oh my gosh, take your time when you go to turn it inside out. There are two layers for this front panel because there's a clear layer and there's a vinyl layer all on one side. It does make it a little bit more difficult. So just be careful uh, because this zipper is only a few inches big versus like, you know, having a zipper that goes all the way around that you can turn it inside out of. Um, so just take your time turning it inside out and I hope you guys like this video because it was so much fun to make. Um, and I think I really love how they turned out. I love that you guys have options. Um, so if you wanted to do one or the other, we've been trying to get there so that you guys can have some options with our sew along so you don't have to do um, exactly what they're, they, they come out for. You can kind of be creative and do your own thing. Um, if you guys buy these panels and you make them, please, please, please make sure that you come on k and Custom Fabrics Facebook page and let us see them when you're all done. I would love to see these guys. They are so much, these panels are so much work. <laughs> When you guys post them on the Facebook group, when you guys uh, buy them and you make them, it really makes our day when you post them on the page and we can see that you guys bought them, that you're sewing them, and that you guys really, really love them. Give us your feedback on them. What do you guys think about the bags and how they came out? Let me know in the comment section too. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you want to subscribe so that you don't miss some more of our sew-alongs, make sure that you hit that subscriber button. I am so close, you guys. I normally don't push in my videos, but I'm so close. I really want to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. Am I going to do it? I have no clue, but I'd really like to do it. So if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching for a while, please do me a favor and subscribe, and that way I can get closer to that goal. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I do check those daily. I check my YouTube first thing in the morning. So if it's in the middle of the day and you're like, I am stuck, you can always go to k and um, their Facebook group and you can ask your questions there. We have testers now that are making all of the bags so that if you have any questions you can go on there and ask them and they can answer your questions on how it needs to be made or where you're stuck. We can try and help you out. Also, also don't forget that there are written instructions for all of the sew along. So if you don't want to hang around your TV or your computer and you just kind of want to get through the project without having to have all that or you're confused about the measurements or whatever the case may be, there are written instructions and you can find them linked down in the description down below. Thanks for joining us again on FaithWorks Designs. Bye guys.